What's going on guys, welcome back to a brand new video. In this one, I'm gonna show you guys the fastest way to complete the brand new Blaze Up event. It took me around two hours to complete every single one of these challenges. I'm gonna show you guys what you can do, how you can complete it without giving yourself a big headache. What I'll do is I'll split up the video into each reward being its own category, so that way if you've already completed one of the challenges, you can skip that part and go on over into the next one. If you find this video helpful or informative at any point, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, but let's go ahead, let's get into it. In this case, this one's get 25 operator clean kills with the Kimbo attachments, get 50 Hellhound kills with shotguns, or open 20 loot caches in a single resurgence match on Rebirth Island. This one is very easy to complete in Warzone. Where I ended up landing to get this done is I would go over to Control, and that area, it has just a bunch of chests on all different types of floors, so the first floor would probably have like three or four, then you go over to the second floor, which would have even more, the third floor has more, and then the roof only has like one or two. I would go over open them up and I would just keep running around looking for these boxes up until I got eliminated then I would respawn and try to land somewhere further away and redo it again usually the supply boxes get refilled so you don't really have to worry about them running out or anyone else grabbing all of them so that's why I think this one is the easiest one for you to complete in Warzone if you're to do it in multiplayer clean kills means just simply eliminating players without taking damage that one's straightforward you put on maybe the akimbo WSP swarms or something like that for the second challenge that we have that will unlock you the new weapon sticker it's either get 10 operator quick scope kills with stalker boots perk equipped get 80 critical kills with snipers marksman rifles or battle rifles or activate the boat horn near factory on rebirth island the warzone one is the easiest one in my opinion follow the video here i show you guys exactly where you need to land you'll need to land at the boat right next to the factory it's going to be on the right side of the map towards the front of the boat you'll need to go all the way upstairs there will be like a little control center right there there will also be the steering wheel right behind it will be the horn usually nobody lands there as you see here i took my time to pretty much activate it and as soon as you do the challenge is easily completed as long as you know where the horn is it's the easiest challenge in this entire event and now i show you guys where it's at so you should be good to go in terms of doing that the following challenge after that to unlock the wilson killstreak skin in multiplayer it's get 20 operated direct impact launcher kills 50 brain rot zombie kills or collect 50 gummies and high trip resurgence Warzone wasn't an option because at the moment this mode isn't available, but it should be tomorrow morning at around 11 a.m. So if you're watching at that time, this is probably the easiest one. You simply just play the mode, collect all these gummies that are going to be around on the floor, and you should be good to go. But if you want to do it in multiplayer, I would recommend that you do it with the RGL, go into close quarter mosh pit. Shipment was the best bet. I struggled in all the other maps, but shipment was the easiest one. You'll have to directly hit them if it does blow up. Notice that they won't count towards the direct impact kills. Another thing is if you have the zombie mod, which is the brain rot ammo mod already available in your stash, this is probably the easiest one to do out of all three. All you have to do is just load up zombies, get your eliminations, and then you can exfil and you will be good to go. This is going to be hit 20 operators with tear gas with tack mass perk equipped complete four contracts in zombies or complete five spy drone contracts when it comes to the spy drones those are usually easy to complete the problem is if you get eliminated while you are doing them the contract will disappear and you'll need to go reactivate a completely brand new one and most times if you're looking up at the sky shooting it's going to alert everyone nearby and you're just going to be a free elimination so if you don't have friends to do this with because if you do it with some friends and you get eliminated the contract will stay and not disappear and they can help you complete it and you can also knock this all out together at the same time so if maybe you and three other friends get together and you do these spy drones that will be the fastest way to do it if not i wouldn't recommend you do it solo do the multiplayer one instead which is the 20 operators with the tear gas mask make sure you put on this exact loadout that i have i went into 10v10 mosh pit i just ran around and threw these tear gases at them and it was super easy to complete the only thing that i need to let you know is that if you throw both tear gases at the same person it's only going to register as one so try and hit different players with it and while you are doing this it's probably going to lower your KD and this is going to help you with the skill based matchmaking in terms of the upcoming challenges. The next challenge we have is going to be the new weapon sticker called Seeing Sound. To unlock this you can do use the stim or battle race tacticals 15 times, destroy 4 vehicles or during infill or redeploy, land in the gondola. What I would recommend is you do the gondola one. I tried to do the stim and battle rage. It didn't look like it was tracking properly. I tried in every which way. I used them at the start of the match. I used both stim and battle rage. I even took a little bit of damage before using it to make sure that, you know, the effect actually worked out. It didn't track for any of that, so I think it might be bugged. And the gondola one is actually very easy to do. The gondola is pretty much this moving thing that's right next to prison. What you want to do is land directly inside of it. I did test it out landing a 
above it. It didn't track for the challenge. All you need to do is land inside of it while you are playing. You can do it when you redeploy or when you fully jump out of the airplane. As long as you get that done, it will take a second, but the notification will pop up. For some reason, it was a little bit delayed, but this was another very easy challenge that you were able to complete thanks to Warzone. The next challenge that we have after that will unlock you the utterly inspiring emblem. This is either get four operator kills within 20 seconds in one life two times, get 400 kills with a wall by weapon, or eliminate eight players while having an active power up gummy and high trip resurgence. Once again, the high trip resurgence is not available for me, so I wasn't able to do that. That's probably gonna be the easiest one because you're probably gonna have these powers active majority of the time when you play that game. So as long as you get the eight eliminations, you will be good to complete the challenge. If you're like me and you wanna get it done tonight before this mode comes out, then what you can do is get the four operator kills within 20 seconds. That one took me a second, but while I was doing the tear gas challenge and some of the other challenges like the direct impact, I would notice and keep an eye out on multiple players. If I got behind multiple players, like two or three players, and I saw some free kills, I'll pull out my weapon and then try to get the eliminations to get the challenge done. Another thing is that I remember how I told you guys while you're doing the tear gas challenge, it may end up lowering your KD a little bit. As a result, the lobbies would get a little bit easier and it might give you better opportunities to get these eliminations. You can also take advantage of Semtexes, C4s, any of those types of items, those lethals that can help you get those kills. I haven't gotten to test it with kill streaks, maybe like precision airstrikes or stealth bombers, anything like that could potentially work because the challenge is simply just get four operator kills in 20 seconds. The next challenge will unlock the bro you're out of this world calling card and this is to get 10 operator stud grenade kills with the demolition vest, destroy three harvester orbs, or have all four high trip resurgence power up gummies active at once. Once again, I wasn't able to do the high trip resurgence so what I did instead is get the 10 operator stud grenade kills. What I would recommend you put on the quick grip gloves. I did it the first game without it and I instantly regretted it the worst experience ever. This is probably going to be the most annoying challenge for you to do and the most time consuming. Most times I truly struggle to try and stick players and when I would finally get to stick them they would get eliminated by someone else and the challenge would not track because you have to actually get the elimination. So this will be an aggravating mission. If high trip comes out and it seems like it's easier I would recommend you do that one instead. The harvester orbs and zombies is completely RNG base you'll have to find the three spawns that literally could take hours so I would not recommend that you do the zombies one unless you casually already play zombies and if you see them or come across them then you can eliminate them and I'll help you towards your challenge but the next one that we have after that will unlock you a double weapon XP token and that's going to be get 20 operator kills on smoke with the jack purifier get 200 kills shortly after reloading with speed cola active or use squad rage on all your squad mates at once I would recommend you do the war zone one this one was very simple to do you jump in with one other person and so a duo look for squad rage in this case in this clip here we were looking around and then a squad pushed us we eliminated them they ended up having it i simply just threw it next to my teammate the challenge was complete it's that simple to do very easy and very quick make sure you do it with a duo because if you do it with trios or quads it's going to be a lot harder because you need every single one of your teammates to be standing near you when you activate it the next challenge that we have is deploy an inflatable decoy field upgrade 15 times with the engineer vest equip get 30 mercenary critical kills or buy four players back in resurgence using a buy station i ended up doing the resurgence one because i was in the same lobby with my friend you need a total of three thousand to be able to buy someone back so he went pushed the squad, got eliminated. I was able to buy him back. He just kept coming back. Then he just died. And I was able to repeat the process and you can keep doing that to get yourself that challenge complete. And then maybe you can switch sides and then you could do it for your friend. And that way you could both complete it all within the same game. If you don't have anyone on, you can jump into squad fill and most times they're probably going to die. You can sit there by a buy station, wait until players are eliminated and just continuously buy them back. If you do it while there's a fire cell active, it's half price and even quicker to do. And it's just a very straightforward, easy challenge. And I I would recommend doing that one rather than some of the other ones because the other ones take a little bit more time. The next one that we have is going to unlock you a one hour battle pass token tier skip and the challenge is get 25 operator kills with a cook frag or thermal bear grenade, get 250 kills of stamina up active or reduce the resurgence timer for a total of 100 seconds. I personally did Warzone because I play Warzone a lot. I jumped in quads with some friends and every single time they get eliminated, all you have to do is either just run in as far as you can, that will lower it by around two to three every couple of seconds, or you can go ahead, open up crates, that will reduce it as well, or you can get eliminations. And if you do any of those, you play a couple of matches, you'll realize that you did do the 100 seconds very quickly. So I would recommend it if you play Warzone, if you don't do the multiplayer one, and all you have to do is use a frag grenade, cook it up, maybe use a demolition vest so that way you're able to get even more frag grenades. But as long as you hold it to like the last second and then you throw it, people can't really dodge it and it usually would get you very quick eliminations. So you can also complete that pretty quickly. The next challenge that we have is gonna be get 40 
Party Operator kills with the Dragon's Breath attachment equipped while sliding or crouching. Kill three abominations or in a single match trade two cars from biometric scanners at a buy station. And this will get you a one hour battle pass XP token. I did the Warzone one and I actually did this in the same game where I was with my duo who did the squad rage challenge and the buy station thing. We went over, we landed at the same exact spot right here. I would recommend you land here because there's a buy station literally right next to the scanner. I scanned it and then I got a silver card. He scanned it, he got a gold card. What I would recommend you do, you have your friend drop it for you. He dropped it for me. I was able to use two cards at the same time. I went and I sold both of them. And once I did that, I was able to complete the challenge and then you can go over over to a different biometric scanner, do the same scans again, and then drop it for your friend and he'll be able to complete it. This was super quick. It took literally around 20 seconds to get everything done for that challenge. And that's what I would recommend you do as well. And if you don't have a squad, use the comment section down below to play with some friends, get this challenge complete. And these are all the challenges that you need to do. Once you complete all of them, the Daymare's Mastery Weapon Blueprint will be unlocked for you and you will now have completed this entire event. There are gonna be other secret challenges and rewards that you're gonna be able to get from this as well i'm still waiting and trying to collect more information once that high trip resurgence mode is out and the parkour ltm we'll get a little bit more information and i got you guys covered but anyways that's all that i got for you guys in this one thank you guys for tuning in hopefully i'll be seeing you guys back again peace